I, I feel compelled uh, to speak about a, a matter of current events that happened in my district over the weekend. Suspend, um, just as Senator, suspend for me. A little order, please. The Senate will come to order. Senator from Richland. As you all know, uh, Columbiana Mall was in my district. There was a mass shooting there this weekend. Um, and um, as a former prosecutor and current defense attorney, I uh, attempted to unwrap what happened, why it happened, what's going on in our community, in our state, in our society in general. Um, and it comes back to um, people possessing and using guns who do not have a legal right to do so. What I understand from talking to the Sheriff's Department and when I read in the paper, uh, the young man, the first one charged, indicated he had been threatened on Facebook. He then armed himself and went to the mall. Now the mall, you're not allowed to carry a gun whether you have a permit uh, or, or any other legal reason to carry it, you're not permitted to walk in with a gun. He walked in with it, no concealed weapons permit, and of course we know a gunfight broke out, 12 people wounded, uh, two others trampled. So at some point, hopefully in the next two weeks, I'm gonna find a vehicle to help correct or help a deal with the situation. Carrying an unlawful weapon carries up to one year and up to $1,000. Many, many of these charges end up being reduced in some sort of city or municipal court or put in pretrial intervention or deferred in some way uh, and no one ever faces the consequences of carrying a gun illegally. Now, if you get a permit, you can carry it anywhere. If you get a permit, you can strap it on and, and carry it, open carry it. Um, if you're taking it hunting or fishing, you can do that. If you're carrying it to or from your vehicle in your business or home, you can do that. You can keep one in your glove box legally. You can do all kinds of things with that gun, but what you can't do is carry it concealed unless you are permitted to do so by the state of South Carolina. So I'm going to attempt in the next couple weeks to find a vehicle to amend that law to make it a mandatory one-year sentence minimum up to five years, a felony, and, that, and the other thing we find, as we saw with this young man yesterday, um, it's a, he was given a $25,000 bond and allowed to walk out, even though he was in possession of a gun in uh, a mass shooting. So I would ask, I would ask uh, that we look, all look together for a way to make it much more onerous if you're caught carrying a concealed weapon. Now that's not to say in any way to affect your legal ability to carry a weapon. I'm not doing anything uh, to affect your ability to carry a weapon if you have a permit or you're doing those things we talked about, law enforcement officer, going hunting or fishing, carrying it to your business, keeping it in your business, keeping it in your home. But if we don't do something to stop this, these weapons being carried primarily by kids, I mean, we up in the upstate, we had a 12-year-old shoot a 12-year-old. A 12-year-old shoot a 12-year-old, murder him. The easy accessibility to to, to guns by these young people mostly and their ability to carry them or feel like they can carry them anywhere is killing us and them. So please help me find a vehicle to get that done before the end of the session. Senator from Charleston, Senator Sin, what purpose do you rise? To see if the senator would yield. For a question. Senator, yes, for a question. Uh, uh, yes, for a question. Um, I very much appreciate everything that you've had to say. Uh, did you know that I think law enforcement's bigger concern is not just that it's the, a small penalty. Sorry, I can't hear her. Senate would please suspend. Senate would come to order, please. Did you know that I think that law enforcement's bigger concern is not just the small penalty, it is that there's no enhancement for each time that they get caught with an unlawful weapon, and it happens a lot. Um, we have attempted several times in this body to get such a measure passed, and I would certainly welcome any opportunity to uh, help you in that regard. Well, I'd like to see enhancements. I'd also like, and I'm a former solicitor, 12 years, uh, just like Senator Hembry back there. I think there are solicitors who are very aggressive about it. I think the solicitors are, who are not, and we need to tie their hands so they don't have the opportunity. Look, it's easier to dismiss a gun charge than a criminal domestic violence uh, first, uh, you know, first, first offense, lowest, lowest level, slapping uh, your wife or husband um, is uh, not dismissible. Um, but 
carrying a gun into a mall is. Over and over again. <clears throat> over and over and over again. These are, um, this young man, I'm told, uh, had been charged with murder two years ago. It was dismissed by the solicitor's office. So, I mean, it's just a revolving door involving guns. Senator from Greenville, Senator Corbin, what purpose do you rise, sir? Will Senator yield for a question? I will. Senator yields for a question. A friendly question, Senator. Um, I couldn't hear very well back here. I can't hear now. I'm Sen sorry. The Senate would please suspend. Take conversations outside, please. It's, uh, Senator, did you say that the gentleman did or did not have a CWP? Did not. He did not have a CWP? Did not. Okay. So without a CWP, it's unlawful to carry out in public like that? It's unlawful. There are exceptions. You can carry it um, um, hunting or fishing. If you're out fishing or hunting, you can have a, a, a pistol with you. Right. Um, if you're carrying it to or from your house or business, you can have a pistol. You can have it in your glove box. There are a number of exceptions. You can carry it. I don't mean, you're talking about hunting and fishing, so you, you can carry it on your person on the way to hunting and fishing. Correct. So if he was going fishing and stopped by the mall to buy some lures and then go on to the pond, he would be okay? No. Well, he's on his way to go fishing. Well, no, it's, it's, it's in the act of hunting or fishing. You can't, you know, you can't take a three-hour drive. Uh, um, so you can't uh, detour off the fishing route. Correct. No, you're fishing. You're actually got to be fishing or hunting, and as far as I know, there's no, um, uh, I think uh, Columbia Animal has posted no hunting or fishing. <laughs> okay, Senator. You know, some of them have the little ponds with goldfish in the middle, and, you know, this day yeah, and no, age, I you never no, know. I, no, I don't believe but, he was uh, any Anytime someone talks about um, changing any laws that affect the Second Amendment, it always piques my interest, since I am a very big defender of the Second Amendment, so we'll, uh, we'll have to take a look and see what's, what uh, comes of this. Well, and, you, and, and again, I... I probably agree with you of 90 90 percent of your second amendment views uh, i do have a concealed weapons permit i do carry a weapon from time to time and um I, you know i respect everyone's right to do that the state has the ability to license that the state has the ability to prevent you from owning a machine gun for instance um there are restrictions on that second amendment right um uh and, and I think, and this restriction's already there. The question's not whether we, in, we, we have a restriction. The question is whether we enhance the penalties. Senator from Clarendon, Senator Johnson. I want to see if the Senator will yield for a question. Senator, yield for a question. Thank you, Senator. Did you know I was also a CWP permit holder? That's and scary. that I carry from time to time. That concerns um, me, but yes. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> um, but I wanted to just ask a question for clarification. I, I heard the, the questions from the Senator from Greenville, my friend. Um, but isn't it true that whether I have a CWP or not, that that particular mall, uh, Columbiana Center, uh, has signs on the doors that weapons are not allowed inside the mall? That is correct. Whether so, you have a CWP or not wouldn't right. matter. So, so even if I was going fishing and stopped by to get some fishing gear, I still, if I, had, if I was licensed, I still could not carry that weapon inside that particular. Senator, you're absolutely correct. Thank you. 